All right, case uh, nine. Okay. <clears throat> So there's a fatty appearing material, uh, and if we look closer, we see like it's the that's the amorphous material is kind of surrounded by histiocytes. So I, I would say it's it's gout. Very good, pink, fluffy, cloud-like, cotton candy-like, or I think in some parts of the world they call it candy floss. I think like in the UK it's candy floss. That's what it reminds me of, uh, or pink, fluffy clouds. We have uh, not as many histiocytes as in that last case, but there's a few histiocytes around it. When you go closer, like here, it looks very amorphous and almost amyloid-like at low power. But once it comes into focus, now we can see it tends to have that kind of very, very thin little slits that look like little needles. But again, even though it looks needle-like, if you polarize this slide here, it'll be negative because it's all been dissolved during processing and staining, okay? Sometimes you can, I found that you can cut an H, I mean, cut an unstained slide and have the laboratory uh, heat it to remove the paraffin, um, and then don't stain it. Just look at it with the paraffin um, melted down or dissolved, uh, but no stain done, and sometimes you can get some of the crystals um, to polarize, actually. But you don't, I mean, I, I rarely ever need to do that because this, this is gout, right? Like, nothing else looks like this to me. So in any case, here it's got a darker pink color, but it usually looks this, this very pale pink. So that's a great example, again, of gout.